And now, the Armory returns after its mid-season break. B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Oh, hello there. You've just caught me doing one of the many things we do in school. Studying. And welcome to episode 7 of The Armory. For our first segment today, we examine one of the most severe psychological complexes the library has ever seen. Sir, hello. My name is uh, Richard Duncan. Welcome to your job interview at the AIS Vienna Library. Ah, oh, thank you. Uh, nice to meet you. My name is, um, Henry. Henry, huh? Yeah, yep. It says Albert on your application. That's wrong. I'm Henry. I will take due note. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Let's start with, uh, your work experience in the field. Do you have any prior experience as a librarian? Well, I was at a library, um, at an old, another high school in, uh, America called Marsteller. And, you know, it was pretty good. Just thought this would be a better opportunity for me. Really, you invested to fly here and take up residency in a foreign country to manage books? Yeah. So, sir, I've looked at your application and uh, you showed on there that you like these pieces of literature that I've laid out. Um, Woman's Health is a favorite. Really? It's really a magazine. Yes, it, it, it's very well written. It's very, very well written. It is. On the other hand, we saw that recently you experienced some trauma in a movie theater. Yeah, I was um, I was seeing uh, The Grey with Liam Neeson, one of my favorite actors, and brilliant. Um, I had mild schizophrenia, and whenever I saw a picture of a wolf, I, I thought I was in the movie. You know, I would I thought I was in a plane crash and running from a bunch of giant wolves who were trying to eat me and my friends. But um, that that's gone now. I mean, unless I see a picture of a wolf, everything everything is uh, pretty much fine. Well, then we should. Probably remove this. What? what? Sir? S Sir? Sanchez. We're gonna make it to the tree line. What? There's, there's nothing we can do here. Do you want to die? These wolves are huge. We Sir? Go now. We have to go. Sir? Now. You are at it. Please refrain from leaving the library during your interview, sir. Sir? Jesus Christ. Sir? Put your clothes on. Go over here, lad. Help me out. I've been bitten. Sir. By the alpha. You're gonna have to help me come over here. Sir. Tie the bleeding. Left. Sir. Please. We need to put the library back together, sir. Um, that is an expensive scarf. My grandmother gave it to me before she died. Uh, sir. Lad, help me carve these spears. No, sir. The wolves are coming. Call security, you prepared please. Prepare or you're not. Call security, please. Lad, what are you doing? Come over here. Sanchez, what are we going to be doing with you just standing around? We need all the help we can get. Sir, I think it is safe to, uh... What are you doing without a jacket on? Do you want to die out here? Sir, there are no wolves. It is not freezing cold. We fell from a plane. Do not remember that, laddie. Sir, I haven't been on point. You're lucky to survive. You may not waste your life. Now put a coat on. 
I'm, I'm gonna start just assembling this. Thank you, mistake. Sir, sir, I just need to reclaim this chair. Sir, it's time to leave. Sanchez, I don't mean it's going to brain. Once again into the fray. Live or die on this day. Live or die on this day. Our second segment features Milton the Techie as he tries to explain to us the magic of technology. Hello there, it's me, Milton. Are you ready for our adventure? Of course you are. So today, I'm going to teach you the inner working of a computing device. Here is the device that we have to work with. As we can see, it's standard box shaped, good shape. Now come closer, let me show you. This is the computer reciprocal lid which can be released with this switch mechanism, as we can see. Be very careful when releasing this, could get a static suck. We've done this successfully. Um, good job, guys. Here we go. Ah, yes. So as we can see, let me first explain to you some of the basic parts of the computer. This right here, this little thing, this is the flux capacitor. Very similar to the kind used in um, uh, Back to the Future, which is actually a historical documentation of real events. Um, this is the data storage reciprocal. Uh, it holds all of your information and interwebs, as we can see. Um, this is made by the company Western Digital, which uh, is basically a bunch of rednecks. But this is the, uh, the green thing. No one really knows what it does, but it's always there, so we just leave it alone, basically. This is the RAM. Let me take one of these little things out for you. Hold on. Get a laser device out of it. I'll explain this later. This right here is uh, the RAM, which is um, the radioactive aardvark microarchitecture, which is made from the skin and cells of the rare and endangered radioactive aardvark. So this is quite important. I uh, don't really know what it does, but it's important. And uh, this, this will go back here. As we can see, this computer is mildly dusty, which can be easily fixed by pouring some water on it, as we can see. So here we go, we'll just do that. That means it's clean, that's a good thing. All right, here we go. Uh, it's, uh, it's got, I forgot to unplug it, as we can see. Might have been the cause of that last stock, which just happened a little. Now let's just, just unplug it. We have taken uh, safety measures due to um, past mistakes I may have made, may have, ma may have made or may have not made. It might have just been um, a capacitator malfunction. We think this could be caused by the restless pot. The pot is a, is a Rasta capacitator, basically, so the best way to soothe this is with its native music. So here we go. Talking about this thing right here, as we can see. These are um, electronic dreadlocks, those little things. All right, here we go. Yeah, man, Rasta, man. Yeah, Jamaica, man. Yes, I think this worked. Uh, just judging by it, it's, uh, the smoke coming out of it means it uh, recently became less capacitated. I don't want to go into details. It might be inappropriate, but it's good now. It works. Now, this is what we call um, the power supply, which is run by little, um, little biological creatures um, called electricity. Lots of people tend to think that this is made with rotating um, functions and magnets, but it's actually uh, uh, basically the same biological feature that causes AIDS, but we've captured it and put it inside and um, maintained it with this fan. You can see this spinning fan in here. So, what else? Ah, the laser device, which is, uh, is here in case the biological um, power supply genomes escape. It will electrocute them. This is actually the same kind of laser that was used to destroy the Death Star, um, despite 
uh, popular misconception, but it's, it's, it's pretty straightforward. So um, I, I will show you the, uh, the CPU, the, the brain of the computer, but due to its, uh, its corrosive um, metals and, um, and uh, uh, the fact that it's made from ex-human brains and we just don't want to ex expose it to air, we really just <laughs> Not again. Let's tighten these a little. I really should not do this again. All right. So I think it's about time to get this bad boy running. So we got ready. Just gonna plug this in. Gonna plug this in. Right. Uh, I think it's. I think it's right here. This is the right part. So um, I mean, so, so due to uh, um, uh, unluckiness. I think that it's best if my assistant, Reginald, does the uh, plugging in of the computer. Hello. So I'm just going to back up. Thank you, Reginald. Don't talk. Um, I'm just going to back up and let him do that. Uh, thanks. Great. Just, let me just. Yes, do, that's good. Proper, proper etiquette of computers. Make sure it's wet. Make sure the water is on your hands as well to spread the electric uh, uh, vibrations. Yes. Let's do this. Um, Um, by the toe. I think they'll, um, we'll try this one this time. Just shove it in there, I think. Let's go, just hold that there. Let me see the screen, and here we go. We have kittens, which is a sign that everything is working well. Kittens are basically the computer saying yes, just the yes. So we have kittens, and uh, you know, thank you for watching. I hope that we've explained to you well the workings of a computer. Um, and how the parts, the different parts, yes, and maybe you'll be able to uh, build the computer yourself at some point, but be careful. And remember to pour water on it first, make it safe and uh, discharged. And uh, the Rasta pot is very important. So have a guitar nearby. That's the last piece of advice I can tell you. So um, uh, thanks for watching, and um, I'll see you later. Have you ever wondered where all the turtle lovers at AIS are? How can there be such a large community with no people who appreciate the scale and shell nature of these mystical creatures? Well, here's the answer to that ponderment. Ponderous. I don't even know if that's a word. Well, in the next segment, we feature the AIS Turtle Appreciation Club. Hey guys. Um, my name is Randall. Uh, welcome to the Turtle Appreciation Club for those of us who enjoy reptilian creatures with shells on them. Have you ever seen a snapping turtle? Watch out for those teeth. So, in the Turtle Club, we impersonate various turtles and their positions and how they walk and eat lettuce. Sometimes for turtles on the floor, and sometimes for turtles climbing. Watch the techniques. Some people just don't understand the elegance of a tortoise. It's scaled hands and legs and elegant shell. Its aerodynamics are actually quite incredible. It's powerful muscles rip through a human's flesh. 
Do not underestimate a turtle. segment features my distant and somewhat questionable relatives, as they do something I suppose they do all the time. Hi, hi there. My name is Clyde Bubba, and this is my brother and brother-in-law, Devin Dye Bubba. Now today, we're going quail hunting up in the attic of this here AIF. So I'm kind of learning for Shilly too. Anyway, we've heard that some of the best game in the whole entire continent country thing is up in this here spot. So let's go then. Wait, why aren't we hunting outside? Cause inside the birds can't fly away. They become easier to hunt. It's science. I think Einstein came up with the bird relative theory of law science thing. He said, if there's a bird inside, it makes you shooting better. That was Einstein who said that. Okay, let's let's go. Let's here. go, Clytus. We're going in now. Clytus is much of my job. Jeff and I are going first because he's stupider than me, I think. And if his brain gets hit, it won't do as much damage. Because then birds can be aggressive on your face and things. Are you sure? When they're pecking, yeah. But it's okay. If you scream as you go in, I think it'll fly away. <laughs> That was a good scream. Yeah. All right, Dan. Look, there's another door. So, so it's a very precise thing, quail hunting. First of all, you got to do the quail mating call so it thinks it's got a friendly person up here and comes down so we can shoot it. So, do you know what a quail sounds like? Of course I do. I don't remember. I think it sounds something like, I'll try this. Ready? <laughs> I think that's what a quail sounds like. I think it should be coming out somewhere in there. Let's uh, go then. I don't see no quail. So we've got to check every which way for these birds. These crafty little fellows. So going to look in this door. I think Alf Judge, mass men around, and trite verboten means a birdhouse. So here we go. Oh my lord. Alright, I got this. He's over there! Oh my goodness. That's the door. That's just the wall. I thought it was a bird. Come on, Jebediah. We don't shoot this thing, it's gonna eat our nutrients. Come on, ah! so can... what? There no. it is right there. Let's go! Let's go! It's time for action! All hold the line. Jebediah, I think I got it. Clytus, you busted my kneecap. <laughs> Little did you know, Jebediah, I just saved your life. Yeah. Come on, let's get out of here. I think it's gone anyway. We scared it away with all them gunshots. Come on. Let's get out of here, Clytus. Oh no, they're coming from both sides. Stay on there. 
there. I got you. Guys, that animal's been gone for months. What are you doing? <laughs> what? Well, that's the show for today. Thanks for watching. I've got to get back to studying my alphabets for the International Bachelorette Higher Level Examination. Until next time.